United States researchers exposing mice to streams of high-energy particles similar to galactic cosmic rays discover damage to nervous system affecting cognition. Researchers in the U.S. exposed mice to streams of high-energy particles similar to those found in galactic cosmic rays and found they produced nervous system damage that caused the animal's performance to plummet. There's instruments measuring the mineralogy, there's instruments measuring the chemistry, there's a weather station, and there's RAD, which is measuring the radiation environment. These observations from the surface of Mars uh, help us in two ways. They, they give us an indication of what the radiation dose rate would be for humans on a future human mission to Mars. But they also tell us about the radiation environment that, that uh, microbial life has to endure or survive on the surface or in the subsurface, whether it be present life or past life in an ancient Mars. This is not positive news for astronauts deployed on a two to three year round trip to Mars, said Charles Limoli a professor of radiation oncology at the University of California, Irvine. Researchers said on Friday a long-term exposure to these rays that permeate space may cause dementia-like cognitive impairments in astronauts during any future return journey to Mars, expected to take at least two half years. In a NASA-funded study, mice exposed to highly energetic charged particles like those in galactic cosmic rays experienced declines in cognition and changes in the structure and integrity of brain nerve cells and the synapses where nerve impulses are sent and received. The irradiated particles in galactic cosmic rays, remnants of star explosions called supernovas, can penetrate spacecraft and astronauts' bodies. Earth itself is protected by its magnetosphere. University of California, Irvine Radiation Oncology Professor Charles Limley said without a doubt people would face the same issues as the mice. This could compromise mission critical activities, especially if unanticipated situations arise during deep space flight, Dr. Limley said. The mice, genetically altered to have green fluorescent neurons to help structural analysis, were exposed to the rays at the NASA Space Radiation Laboratory at the Brookhaven National Laboratory in New York and then analyzed six weeks later. This is not a deal breaker but it represents an issue NASA needs to prepare for, Limoli told The Guardian. It could develop into performance-based decrements and elevated anxiety and affect the ability to problem-solve. These effects are likely to be subtle, however, and would not preclude our efforts to plan future manned deep space missions.